Hi, I'm Logan T. Smith for Opinion Subject to Change, here to talk about Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, the second out of three of the Jumanji movies. But before I do that, this episode is not sponsored by Surfshark VPN. It's the one I use because I want to be sneaky and aggressive like a shark when I'm on the internet. Right? Four stereotypical teenagers, a jock, a cheerleader, a girl nerd, and a boy nerd, are thrust together into the basement of their high school where they find Jumanji. Now, on Atari lookalike console. Each teen takes on a typical video game character uh, as an avatar, and of course these characters are significantly different than themselves. In many ways, this movie feels more like a reboot uh, to the 1995 film Jumanji than the direct sequel that it actually is. There's several nice nods to the original, but you don't need to see the original to make sense out of this one. As the players fight their way through the hostile world of Jumanji, they learn things about themselves and each other that they never would have expected. Uh, that's just a cheesy way to describe this rousing adventure comedy. Once you're past the slow and almost awkward introduction, Jumanji opens up into a beautiful jungle filled with video game tropes. There's enough explanation here for those not familiar with video games to understand what's going on, but not so much that it's annoying for those familiar. Uh, and it's handled in a comedic way to kind of keep it fun. With over 20 years between these movies, both in the real world and in the movie world, it's a little odd to try to compare them. Uh, and there's actually not a whole lot in common between the two as far as plot and themes go. The types of relationships explored are significantly different, and the characters themselves are too. Both movies, though, are fun, exciting, and funny, but Welcome to the Jungle kind of kicks it up a notch in every category, especially comedy. The comedic chemistry of the four leads is outstanding, and Dwayne Johnson is probably the funniest here that I've ever seen him. Karen Gillan, Kevin Hart, and Jack Black, though, all bring their A-game to this movie, and they're probably funnier than Dwayne Johnson in it. Now, you've probably heard of those violent video games out there, and if Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle was a video game, it would be on that list. There are several fights and brutal deaths in this movie, but the way the deaths are handled make them less severe than they would seem if I were to explain them to you, and it's hard to um, give you much more information than that uh, without spoiling anything. There's also a fair amount of mild sexual conversation, which I'm sure is fine for teens, but for smaller children it might bring on questions that you just don't want to try to answer in the middle of a movie. There's a little more coarse language in this one than in the original. It's around the same level as the Men in Black. Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle is also a great workout for your home theater. It has excellent visuals with bright colors, especially if you have HDR, and the surround sound is very good. Now, you're also, if you want to get the most out of this movie, you're going to want a subwoofer here. The drums of Jumanji really call to you here. The second time that I watched this one, I actually had my subwoofer turned off at the beginning, and once the drums came on, I just could feel something was missing. Turned the subwoofer back on, and the world was good again. Uh, but you won't actually need any of these things to have a good time watching the movie. There's a great story and acting here. Uh, I give the Jumanji an 8 out of 10, Watch it, but probably not with your small kids, especially if they're prone to nightmares. Thanks.